Well, let's see how easy this transmission comes out. Now, this is the custom chromoly transmission mount that JP made. It's beautiful. A lot lighter than the other one, the stock. So hopefully I have it up high enough. I have these car ramps. They're called race ramps. Actually, pretty darn good setup. Let's jack it up a little bit. Take the weight off it. So hopefully this comes out without any issue. We'll find out. Let's get these bolts out. So that just needs to be cleaned up, painted. Get ready for the install. So there it is right there. Okay, now let's bring it down. Make sure it's back a little bit, yep. When you work by yourself, you get used to doing a lot of things by yourself. And that's including pulling motors and transmissions and whatever else you got going on. I don't know if it'll fit underneath here with these race ramps. I'm trying it out for the first time. I think it'll be fine. Should have probably strapped it down to this thing. But, okay, it sits there good enough for now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that'll slide right out of there. That idea didn't work. I just put it on a piece of cardboard and just slid it out. All right, guys, I got the C4 automatic right here. I put it on a little dolly so I can spin it around, bring it over here to the cherry picker. I'm going to lift it up and put it on my new Husky table. It's an adjustable height table. I like that. It'd be great for projects around here. All right, here. well, here we go. I can't wreck this new bench top, so I kept a box or the cover that came with it so I don't mark it up when I put this transmission on there. So let's see about picking it up. So when you're only one guy doing it, you got to do it smart and efficient. So let's see what we can do about putting this on that table. We'll put this thing up on a bench and we'll tear it down, the C4. I'll show you what I do to make mine survive 750 plus horsepower. It's not as much as you might think. Slow process, but you know what? I ain't lifting this and kill my back putting it up to there. If I got a table with wheels and it goes up and down, I can move it to the workbench without lifting it. It's just too much work for me.
So I put my car in here, I made sure everything would fit. All right, so I wheeled it over here to the workbench with this nice table I got. Let's adjust it up here and see how it works. Whoop. Just so it can kind of slide right over there. Welcome back to Drag Bus Garage. Today, um, we are going to never been in the garage in a long time we never made a video and it's gonna be christmas in 24 days it's the first day of november i'm at december and this is timothy halstead what's up guys tim halstead just like she said so here's the deal this is going to be the end of the video that i'm making where i pull the transmission and the engine out of the cougar you can see that you can follow along with that the transmission here, you just saw me talking about it, was one that I had in my old T-Bird. So at one time in like 2001, it was built up to performance automatics competition transmission. It was like $2,000 transmission at that time. And I set mine there that I had been running, thinking I was missing something and I'm gonna get the biggest transmission ever. Didn't really notice much difference of it. You know, like I said, I worked in a transmission shop. I went to college. Uh, at night and rebuilt all the old transmissions of torque flights, the turbo 350s, 400s, you know, the C4, C6. I had just started doing some AODs back then. That was just coming out. Um, 700R4 was a popular transmission. It had a governor issue, but anyways. So I'll tell you, I can rebuild these transmissions, but I don't, I can't tell you a lot about where the fluid's going and how it's working. I just know what to fix and how to make it live for 700 plus horsepower, 750 at least. So I'll kind of take it apart with it. Me and Elena are gonna start working on it and we'll show you what we have. So the first thing what we're gonna do, this is a SFI Bell Housing by Performance Automatic. Also have their um, intermediate servo. Whether this is better than the H servo that Ford makes, I don't know. SFI transmission shield, and then I had AN fittings because I run AN. What's that? O T H. Y. Oh, okay. So let's start taking this apart. In this case, I'm going to take out the transmission shield first because you can get to the secondary, the intermediate band and tighten it up so when you pull off the bell housing it, it doesn't all fall apart now here's something i was looking for when i had put this together and i couldn't find it is that this pump has counter suck holes in the front pump you'll see that so you can tighten it up when it's together and still put the bell housing on still put the bell housing. right <laughs> and i use this old workbench because you'll see eventually i have a hole cut in the middle so when you assemble this transmission you put the tail shaft down through that hole and you put assemble the tail it shaft down through that hole yep and you assemble it. Correct, with the right clearances, and I'll show you how I do it and, and how to measure it. And it's been working for me now for right the past, whatever, 25 plus years building my own stuff, so. It's Rudolph. Let's, let's pop this off. What's that? It's Rudolph. Oh, that's nice. I like that guy. He has an antler. Oh, it broke off. Now these little Allen heads, I'll tell you, these things are tight, so you gotta make sure you use some good leverage with them. Can you I don't wanna strip them out. Um, okay. Oh, hang on now, let me get down here. Okay. Yep. Pull. Okay, hang on. <laughs> it's hard. Yep, and you wanna push in, because I don't want it stripping. Hang on, hang on. Okay, you ready? We want to pull a good, nice pressure. What are you doing? I'm pressing the lid off. Oh, okay. We're going to keep it straight so it doesn't cock on you and slip. You ready? That's hard. I know. How do you do that? Now you can do it like this. Ooh, that's cool. I know. Now the servo's still held on by these two. Can you let go so I can do oh, it? Oh, yeah, sorry. These 516 bolts, so. It's not going to leak all over the place. Yeah. But this is a messy job, any way you look at it. Oh. Yep, and you can take that one out too. I, I think I loosened that one. Probably can okay. use your hands. 
Where did I go? Where did we tidy you left and loosen? Nice. Yep, we want to keep all our parts nice and in order. So let's put them over here by this old roller cam. Up the other way. Oh, yeah. Remember? Lefty, lefty, loosey. Ah. Boom. Right. <laughs> yeah, just a little big. You probably don't need to use this big thing. Good. Here, we'll do this. Did you get it? No. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. Sorry. So the next thing we're going to pull off. Yeah, you might be able to get it off. We'll pull off this. That's so hard. It's still hard. We'll do a little more. Mm -hmm. Now I feel better. I can. Hey. You can see that. See, it's cocked. See? Watch. What, what's happening? <gasps> Look at it. See, the bolt's not straight. You see that? Yeah. See, exactly. Pay attention now. So the bolt's not straight, so it's it's, it's not going to just fall out of there. And that's how you strip stuff. This is aluminum. So you want to bring the shield back over. See, I bring it down and around. Now do it. I'll hold it for you. Sometimes the trick is to leave this one in until it's almost out. Then take them, do the same, and then take them out together. Yep. Good job. See how it's springy? See how it's springy? So it had tension on it. Let me see what's on the back. Well, we'll look underneath it. Let's pull off. Let's let's get neither here. Move Rudolph over there. Let's pull off this tail shaft. So he doesn't broke. So grab that. Mm -hmm. We want to take these bolts off. That's the tail strap tells you. Uh, well, you want to line it up. Oh, yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Keep it on tight now, and it'll be bouncing on. So I go. Go. Hit it. Hit it. Easy now. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I'm good at it. I know you are. I got it. All right. All right. So she's going to pull off this is Elena. She's seven. Uh, yeah, be careful now. Come on, bad boy. Yeah. Six. See, it's starting already, the attitude. Yeah. Uh, so here's what we're doing wrong. Stuck. Well, here's what you're doing wrong. Uh, See, it's got a lot of, it. right, it's got a lot of vibration. And it's strong for you. So you got to push on it hard so the bolt doesn't strip or jump off. This. Try this one. Okay. I'll Maybe. Yep. Nail it. Easy, easy. <laughs> that thing going crazy. <laughs> I can't. It goes crazy. That's noisy, Daddy. All right, you ready? This one's going to do the shield, so do it. Okay. Anyone? No, push it on there. Oh yeah. All right. Push. Yeah. Easy. Pull it. Stop. Stop. Yep. Hard to hear because because it's. So now we can see it, and that's in case this blows up, doesn't take up my legs or anything, and that's integral. So we keep this. Let's keep this over here. With the sharpie. Yep. Oh yeah, with a sharpie. So let's keep. We don't need these much anymore. Let's, I don't want to lose any tools. Here we need a rag. Why? Oh yeah, it's a wipe. Yep. So let's collect these bolts. You look at all that stuff that was on me. Yep. Just freeze. Don't worry about it. You're a DVG. Nothing. Do you remember that last video that Hopefully we made? we got to get this one off. I yeah. said, ew, I don't like it. I don't, you, you said, sure. don't worry, you're a DVD. That's it, baby. Nail it. Full blast. Good. See, Dad, I told you. Told me what? I would do better than you. Oh, you would? Yeah. Well, I hope so. That's your job in life, to be better than me. I don't like greasy stuff, though. Why? Because I just don't like it. Oh, well, just, what did oh, I tell you a long time ago? Sometimes. You, that's the greasy thing that I was touching. Is it greasy? Yeah, let's take it off. We're going to put new gaskets on it. So, this transmission, I, and, and you guys are probably going to just skip through some of this stuff because uh, we're just taking stuff apart and talking away. There it is. The and, gross um, thingy, whatever. When I built this transmission in that's 2018, when I originally put the 409 together. And then COVID and all the stuff hit, and I never got, never made a pass on the thing. So I'm just taking it apart now just to make sure it's been that long. I want to make sure there's nothing, I'm missing anything. It's been in and out of a car with a motor plate set up. I'd rather go through it and make sure it's good. And then so, Daddy would 
Would that be your last part you have to do? What's that? This? this? Yeah. Oh no, there's lots of stuff to take apart, but we're just going to take this part. What I'm for saying now. is that your last part to put in your car. Yeah. Yep. The engine. Well, we're going to the engine. We're going to take apart. We're going to take the front cover off. I'll show you that before we we button up. Dad, what's this called? It's called the tail shaft housing gasket or extension housing gasket. Oh. Don't worry about it. Throw it out. We're not going to keep that. Uh, but we got to take that. Can we throw apart. this away? Yeah, please. We have to take the 409 apart, the front cover off, the water pump. I want to make sure that's all sealed up well with new gaskets. Now, what about so, Izzy? Not basketball. Yeah, we got we got a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. So let's pull off this. Let's get this bell housing off. All right, ready? Yeah. So we want to take these bolts out. How? They're upside down. Oh, they're in here. Oh. But what we're going to do... I thought you were talking about these bolts. Well, let's see what happens. If they pop, if the fur pump, it doesn't matter. We'll take How do you pump. take off but, this bolt? Well, what I was saying is the intermediate band, you can tighten up the, the adjustment so the band is tight around the drum. That way... The drum? You yeah. might have these drums. Look like them, 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 them. No, not those drums. The drum and the transmission. Really? But that way it doesn't pull apart when you pull off the front pump. But I'm not worried about that right now. We're gonna Dad, do there's three thing. kinds of drums. A drum that you play, right. a drum that's a tool, and a drum that's in the transmission. Correct. Three drums. Perfect. Here now, watch this. Okay. See how those come out? Well, they come out easy. Yeah, they do. I'm going to try it. I'm going to do this. Okay. Yeah, push you. you yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. Just watch your fingers with that. You want to stay pushed tight. I'm straight. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> I put it too much. Well, when it's out, you don't need to keep spinning it. Yeah, go. Good. Yeah. This is easy, Dad. Well, with tools, I used to have to do all this stuff by hand. Yeah, huh? Just a little bump. Here, I'll do it. Go ahead. Wait, okay. Yep. Yeah. Good. That works fast. Push against it now mm. and be straight, be square on it. And where your finger is, is going to spin, mm, so yeah. you need to pay attention. Yeah. Uh, right. um, that thing. Uh. No, don't get frustrated. Never get worked up. No, I'm trying to push it. I know, but here's what you're doing. See how you have this oh, a tool like this? So it's easier if you do this. Put your hand here. It's all about holding stuff. Relax. Hold it down here. Use oh, this. Yeah, like because think of how you're holding it. Oh, if then you're not I'll, holding it correctly, then, it makes it hard. And then if you hold this, it would help push in. Right, and you want it to be square on the bolt. Now hit it. Good. Good. Yep, do these two. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah. Hey, Get on it square now. Oh. <clears throat> I'm going to get my hands off of it. Now remember, you're hitting this. Oh, so you yeah. either have to turn it up uh, like this. It's going to be hard. Well, it is. It's a hard angle. Oh, there you go. But you got to watch out. It's got a lot of torque. It could twist your wrist, so push it. I did it, Dad. Yep. See, you thought I was not going to do this. I didn't say that. Well, you said that it would might twist, but it Well, I'm worried about twisting twist your hand because there's a lot of torque. Good. Um, yeah, you did. Well, I, right now, let's mm -hmm. let's leave it in there so it doesn't fall off. Because I'm not going to mess with it. We got to. I got to get Izzy right now. Bye, everybody. So we'll, we're going to stop there. I wasn't even in the, in the video much, but that's okay. You're the star. I'm the star. Show. I'm the star. <laughs> hey, if you want to learn about transmissions and you want to, it's a star. About, engines and cars when you're in there like swim more. Stay tuned. To find out, like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Yeah, we'll get this transmission apart. You can see what makes it work. At least however, how I deal with it and, and know how they work. So stay tuned. To find out.